everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buggery Designs. I've got a beautiful card for you today. It's got several techniques on it that I'm going to show you. Um, it features the Pretty Birds bundle from the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. Um, also, we're using the Tropical Hideaway background stamp for that beautiful little tropical look. And then my sentiment, thanking of you, is from the Go To Greetings. All three of these are from the annual Stampin' Up! catalog. All right, let's make that beautiful tropical background. We just got back from Hawaii, and that's what I think of when I see this gorgeous uh, foliage background. It's a big stamp, so I'm gonna use my Stamparatus, and um, I'm gonna use watercolor paper, because we're gonna watercolor. Let's make sure I've got it centered. You wanna take your magnet, magnets and put it let's see did I get it out of the way yep okay so now you can put your um case there it'll make it nice and even we're gonna use Versamark and we're gonna emboss this in white so you're not really gonna be able to see much of anything um, in the beginning but once we start watercoloring you will definitely be able to see so be real generous with your ink make sure you've got full coverage and then lay your stamp down and make sure you push in all the corners. You know, you need to probably stand up if you're sitting down to get this full pressure. All right, so now you probably can't see it. I'm having a hard time seeing it myself, but we're gonna put embossing powder on it. And I'm using my new embossing um, tray. It's called the embossing accessory kit. It comes with um, a uh, embossing buddy, which I didn't use, I forgot, a little pinchers to hold your paper, and a um, paintbrush. Now, we're going to use white. I have my white embossing powder here in a little container, and we're going to just cover the whole thing, and I can immediately see that image popping up. I'm not sure you guys can see it, but when you do this yourself, you will um, be able to see it for sure. All right, so tap off all that extra. Let me see. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now, this thing is set up to funnel your powder back into your case. And I do have some that sticks, you know, because of static. So I just wipe that out with a paper towel. All right, now I'm going to get my heat tool. And I'm gonna heat this. It's gonna take a few minutes because the image is so big. And I will speed up the video and come back when it's done. All right, when you're done, you'll see that the white, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the white is shiny and bright. And the powder, when it's just the powder, it's kind of dull. But when it's set with that heat tool, it's shiny and uh, much brighter. All right, so we're gonna use uh, four different colors. I'm going to take soft succulent, and these are ink refills. And I'm just going to put them on a clear block. This is uh, soft sea foam. This is uh, mint macaron. They all look the same, don't they? And last but not least, a bright color parakeet party. All right. Now, I'm going to need a lot of water for this since this is such a big surface. So I'm using my water painter, but I'm also going to use a bowl of water. I just find that it's a little bit easier um, when you've got such a big surface. Let me get out my grid paper and we'll get started. Now I'm not going to be too specific with my um, leaves, but I am going to try to stay within, you know, I'm trying to color in individual leaves. Now we want it all to eventually just blend together, but we want a variety of colors. So I'm just going to take my ink and kind of sporadically find some leaves. And if you are having a hard time seeing what the image looks like, pull the stamp case out and that way you'll be able to tell a little bit better. I, mint macaron is my main color here, so I'm gonna do a lot in mint macaron. Um, let's do maybe one more over here. 
All right, so now I'll move over to, I think this was the lighter soft sea foam. And so what this is doing is do, called emboss resist. So we're, we're basically, we're painting the background. Um, and then the embossed images is resisting the water. Okay, so just, you know, kind of go through and fill in. Now let's do this one. What color was this? Is this soft succulent? I think so. And again, they're gonna to blend together. Whoops, that is uh, what you want. And you wanna keep your brush nice and wet to get all of that color to spread evenly. I'm saving that parakeet party for the end because I don't want a lot of parakeet party. It's really super bright. And I'm kind of trying to stick with some more subtle colors. And uh, we'll add just pops of that bright color in when we're done here. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to need a little bit more of the soft sea foam. That's a really light color. And the more intense uh, ink that you get on your brush, the darker the color. You know, if you have less water, obviously the color is going to be lighter. If you have more water, the color is going to be darker. All right, now we've got most of it. So I think we're ready for that parakeet party. See how bright that is and intense. And you know, we've got lots of green stamping up colors. So you can um, pull in whatever your favorite greens are. Now there's some white spaces in here, right here. So I'm just gonna go back kind of with some of this color and just kind of tap it in like we're in the jungle. We don't want a whole lot of white showing. That one's pretty dark. Let's add some more. We're pretty bright. Okay, that one's pretty muddy. Let's try adding a little more color to that one. All right, I think that's good. Now, I like to take my paper towel and just kind of dab up some of that extra color so that it'll dry or extra water so that it'll dry faster. All right. So let's set that aside. Clean up your ink and we'll start working on our birds. Now we're going to again use our Stamparatus. Let's bring that back over and we're going to stamp our birds in Memento black because we're going to just color them in with Stampin' Blends. So I've got a piece of basic white cardstock. And let's see, we'll do our birds at one end. And these are the birds that are all sitting on a line. Now there is an image in here, let me show you, that allows you to stamp their color all at once. It's two-step stamping. But I wanted to kind of do more of a variety. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends. All right. Now we'll color these. I'm going to use Pale Papaya, Petal Pink, and a little bit of Calypso Coral. All right, I'm going to just start with my lighter color, my Petal Pink. I'm going to just kind of give them a solid color. Let's do this guy too. And then I'm going to add in some very light Calypso Coral right here. And kind of down. You can um, search um, parakeets online and find all kinds of colors. I'm going to give that guy a little colored in face. This guy's going to be solid. And then we're gonna take this back over here and just kind of blend all of that together. I think I'm gonna keep him light too. Add a little more color to this guy. 
okay? And then just a tiny bit of dark Calypso coral for this guy. And let's take our petal pink and kind of blend that over. All right, now we've got soft suede and we'll just color in that branch like that. Okay, now we've got a die to cut that out, which is this one. Um, we're also gonna cut out this beautiful bird cage. And um, to make that easy, I'm gonna use some adhesive sheets on my cardstock. That's gonna make it easy to stick down onto our paper. Actually, I take that back. We're gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals. If you want it to stick flat, use your adhesive sheets, but I want mine to pop up a little bit. So we're not gonna use that. All right, let's bring a cut and emboss machine over. And we'll get these lined up. Would you love when there is a die to cut it out? You don't have to use your scissors. Some of our die sets have these extra dies that don't have a stamp that matches it, but accessories or coordinating things that go with the stamps. All right, let's see how we did. There is our cute little birds and our beautiful bird cage. All right, let's see if our piece is dry. Yep, feels pretty dry. I'm gonna take um, e soft succulent. This is soft succulent. Let's see, do I have, I have dark and light. I think I'm gonna start with my light and I'm just gonna flick a little bit of ink in here just to have a little more interest, okay? Like that. Now, we're gonna cut this down to four by five and a fourth. Grab my my um, trimmer and we're going to get that first we'll do the four inch side and then we'll do the long side which is five and a fourth like that and there you have a nice tropical background. All right, we're gonna put this on a mint macaron card base, and we're gonna use dimensionals. So you just need one in each corner. Okay. And then we've got this beautiful piece of distressed gold specialty paper one by four and a fourth and we're gonna put that right across down here to give our birdcage something to sit on and then we're gonna use many dimensionals at the top and at the bottom of our birdcage All right, now we're gonna adhere our birds behind our bird cage flat, but we kind of need to see where we want them to go. So you wanna kind of eyeball it. I think that's about right. So let's see if I can get it back in the same place. Well, I think they need to go down a little bit lower like that there we go all right now for our sentiment we're just going to stamp that thinking of you and we'll put that let's just put that on this block right here grab our scrap that we just cut our bird cage out of and we're going to use mint macaron to stamp right just on a basic white piece of cardstock. And then we're not gonna do anything real fancy with that. 
we're just going to cut it into a rectangle. So again, with your trimmer, you wanna get the bottom of that line right there in the gutter of your trimmer. And let's see, do we wanna cut off a little bit at the top? I think we do. That. And like that. All right, bring your card back over. And we're just gonna put that right across there. I'm gonna put um, a regular dimensional, two regular dimensionals kind of over here on the right side. So it'll be flush with that cage like that. And there you have it, a beautiful bird card, bird cage card. It looks like I went a little bit higher on this one. Maybe go a little bit lower on your gold piece so it'll be centered a little bit better. All right, make sure you hop back to my blog. There are two more um, Pretty Bird projects as well as this free PDF that has all the details and measurements um, that you'll need to make this card yourself. All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.